Hello guys and ladies, welcome back to Audiobook. A very important lesson for people considering building a powerful and successful business. I think the lesson on teamwork is crucial. It is one of the primary keys to my financial success. Business and investing are team sports. And remember that every day in business is test time. To be successful in school, you had to take tests alone. In business, success comes from taking tests as a team, not as an individual. People in E and S quarter number take less money than they could or would like to do because they attempt to do things on their own. If you work as a group, especially those in the E quarter, they form a union instead of team. A team. Many investors. Today, I'm trying to invest an individual I see and read about South and those people who are online, they trade it. This is a perfect example of individual trying to trade against well-organized teams. That is why so few of them succeed and why many lose the money. I was taught that when it comes to investing, you should invest as a team member. Read that would say, if people want to become sophisticated investors and more they just they must invest as a team. On read that team were his accountant, his attorneys, his brokers, his financial advisor, his insurance agent and his bankers. I use the plurals here because he always had more than one advisor. When he made decision a decision it was with his team input today to do the same. A big team before a big boat. On television today, I see comic source or red couple sailing the yard in some warm tropical waters. The air seem to draw in all individuals who are trying to get rid on their own. Whenever I see that comic soul, I often think of Rita trying to say to me, most small business people dream of someday owning a boat or a plane. That if I will never own that boat or plane. When I was first starting out, I dream of having my own team of accountant and attorney, not a boat. Three that wanted me to aim to have a team of accountant and attorney working only on my business. Before I dream of a boat, to buy his point, Sam, he had me go to an accountant. Is in town with my meager little tax return. As I said, across the table from Ron CPA, the first thing I noticed as a stack of Manila folders set sitting on his desk. Immediately, I got with that lesson. This CPA was mining about 30 other businesses on that day alone. How could he pay full attention to my business? Returning to read that office that afternoon, I saw something. I had never noticed before, as I sat in the reception area waiting for read that personal secretary to let me in. I could see the team people working only on read that business in the working area of his office was a row of bookkeepers. About 14 of them, they were so, so far full time accountant and chief financial officer, CFO. He also had two full attorney working in his main office. When I sat down in front of Rita, all I said was, they all mining your businesses and no one else, and no one else. Rita nodded. As I said, most people work hard and dream of getting away on their own boat. I first dream of having a team full of time accountant and attorney. That is why I can now have the big boat and free time in the matters of priority. How do you afford the team? I often asked. I am often asked. You, how can you afford to pay this for the for this team? That question usually comes from someone in Ian Quarton. Again, a different go back to different laws and rules for different quarton. For example. When a person E pay for professional services, the transaction look like this. Okay, so this is employee, you know, employee. 
business owner pay business expenses first before they pay taxes. That means they have more money before taxes to pay the team and have less net income, less of work for government to tax. The transaction book like this. Okay, so this is um, something tell you about the owner, business owner, you know. Now this is also different between big quadrant owners and eight quadrant business owner. Big quadrant business owner does not hesitate to pay for these services because business system and type B and I triangle is paid for the services. A quadrant business owner are often paid for the services out of their own sweat and blood most so more of them cannot afford to hire full-time staff because they often do not earn enough to cover their own financial need. The best education, my answer is the same when I am asked questions such as How did you learn so much about investing and, and business? How do you get such return with such low risk? What gives you the confidence to invest in what others see as risky? How do you find the best deal? I answer my team. My team consists of my accountant, attorney, banker, broker, and so on. When people say building a business is risky, they often speak from the point of view of doing it alone. The habit they learn from school, in my opinion, not building a business is risky. But not building a business, you are failing to gain bright less real world experience and you are failing to get the best education in the world. The education that comes from your team or advisor, uh, we that would say people who pay itself lose out on the best education in the world and invest a lot of precious time. Time is the most valuable asset physically as you get older. As someone one lamented, the most unexpected thing that happened to us is old age. A tetra had drawn and the team. I am often asked what is different between B quadrant business and S quadrant business. My reply is my team. Most A quadrant business are either structure a role, proprietorship or partnership. They could be team but not the kind of team I am talking about. There are people in the E quadrant often bind together as the union people in the S Quarter of an organized as a partnership when a thing or a team, a thing of different type of people with different skills come from together, come together to work together. In a union or partnership such as teacher union, a law partnership and some kind of people and profession often come together. One of my credit teachers asked Dr. Uh, Buckminster Fuller. Dr. Fuller set out years ago to find what he called the building block of universities. So he found out that squares and cubes do not exist in nature. He would say tetrahedrus hedron are the basic building block of nature. When I look at the great pyramids of Egypt, I understand a little more about what Dr. Fuller was talking about. While Tall skyscrapers come and go, the pyramid have withstood the test of time through many centuries. Dr. Fuller was looking for a stable structure in the universe and he found it in tetrahedron, the different model. The following are graphic portrayal of different business structure. Number one, this is a sole proprietorship with one individual. Number two, this is um, a partnership with two individuals. Number three, the big quadrant business with the team. The prefix tetra means four. In other words, it has four points. After studying with Dr. Fuller, I began to see the importance of having structures with a minimum of four. In no three con coincidence, uh, the Kaflo quadrant have four parts. Therefore, a stable business structure would look like the following diagram. So this is a uh, business owner. And then um, you can say spe specialist, employees, and investor. A small managed business will have excellent employees. It is an instant. I say it stands for both excellent and essential because the employees are 
responsible for day-to-day -day activity of business, and the E also stands for extent. Extension because employees are the extension of the business owner and represent the business to the customer. Especially uh, typically from important and S stand for specialized because it especially will guide you based on his or her area or expertise. While specialists may not participate daily, their guidance is invaluable in keeping your business moving in the right direction. The structure has a better chance of being stable and during a four point of working in correct. While the investor provides funding, the business owner must work with the specialists and employees to develop the business and make grow so there will be a return on the investor original investment. Another interesting tetra relationship I came across is the four fundamental elements that make up this world we live in. With the, the ancient believed to be earth, air, fire, rain, water in the soul proprietorship as well as a partnership in order to be successful. The, the individual need to be all four investor, business owner, employee, especially earth, air, fire, and rain, which is difficult. So this is diagram tell you about this, you know, air, earth, rain, and fire. Well, most of us have um, all four elements in us, we eat, tend to be very predominantly to one of the elements. For example, I am fire born under the sign of Aries, Aries and the planet Mars. That mean I am good at starting starting things, but not completing them by having a tetrahedron. I am better about to be successful than if I were on my own, my wife Kim, on the other hand, is Earth. She and I have a good marriage because she has grounding effect on me as well as on the people I upset around me. She often says, speaking to you is like speaking to a blow thought. Without her, I would have nothing but angry, upset people around the company. And the company grew. Um, people came and went until the right Tetra team finally locked in place. When this model stabilized, the company began to radiate, outgrowing rapidly and with stability. I am not saying this is a hard and fast rule for successful business, however. All one needs to do is to look for the parameters, the edge and the sand of Strange stability, longevity come to mind. Okay, guys, lady, thanks you so much for your listening. See you next audio. Yeah, um, don't forget to have subscribe in order to get more video easily. Yeah, thanks you.